we have to be quite cautious as uh, uh, not just medical providers, but also for the care and safety of Pennsylvania uh, citizens, that uh, I have nothing against the offshoots of medicine. Nurse practitioners and physician assistants, are, they provide a wonderful service, but they're not physicians. Uh, their education simply is different. They can be very smart people, uh, very intelligent and well-minded, but they don't have the training and the background uh, uh, as a physician would have, and I think that's uh, important not to lose sight of. Well, one of the big things is, you know, this House Bill 100 um, that we're talking about. The nurse practitioners want to get rid of the collaborative agreement between physicians and nurse practitioners. Um, nurse practitioners are a vital part of our medical team. Our medical team includes uh, registration personnel, includes medical assistants, includes nurse practitioners, physician assistants, and most importantly, it includes the physicians themselves. And uh, being against that house bill does not necessarily mean we are not for nurse practitioners. We, we view them as a vital part of our team. But getting rid of the collaborative agreement would, does not assure the best health care in the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, the collaborative agreement is between a doctor and a nurse practitioner and it's a supervisory role, though it's not being portrayed that way many times by the nurse practitioners. It's a supervisory role to make sure that the nurse practitioners are practicing in the, uh, the standard medical care of not only the state but the country. To remove that would essentially make nurse practitioners full-fledged physicians without supervision. And with only uh, a, a fraction of the training and a fraction of the experience that a physician has, that's not the best thing for the, uh, the citizens of Pennsylvania. And it certainly it does not assure their proper health care. The whole philosophy of OSPEC medicine is treating the whole patient, you know, not just treating a symptom, treating what may be causing the symptom. Uh, so people are looking for alternative approaches, osteopathic manipulatives of medicine, um, just the whole philosophy where you sit down and, and you go through the whole process rather than saying, well, here's your symptom, here's your potential problem, here's a pill, I'll see you in six weeks. In my office, I do not prescribe narcotics at all. I spend more time, so I spend a lot of time with patients. My initial visit's about an hour and a half long, and my follow-ups just start at half an hour, so they can go more than that. Uh, so I'm being very, very thorough. I'm asking about not just their family history, their medical problems, and their medications, but also their sleep, their stress level, their exercise, um, how they're managing their stress and their nutrition. Um, there's the physician assistants, the PA, there's the nurse practitioners, everyone I think thinks they're the same as a physician and they're not quite, they don't have the education, they don't have the time put into becoming a physician and I think uh, patients experience that. I know a lot of my patients will tell me that they are not happy when they go to a specialty office and end up with a physician assistant or especially a nurse practitioner. And I've had some nurse practitioners actually kind of mess up my patients uh, because they don't have the experience. So we teach the residents uh, for sure how to be sort of in charge of the group um, um, uh, be a team leader um, as one of the team leaders, um, certainly nurses, uh, the, the student team, um, behavioral medicine, pharmacy, um, and um, you know advanced practice professionals all part of the same team delivering um, disease-based care um, to the population of patients that we're serving. It's a personal touch. So when I have patients from, I call it cradle to grave, I may have diagnosed the mom with her pregnancy, I may be taking care of her grandchildren, but it's how we interact both on a personal level and on a physician level, diagnosing patients, calling them with results, hands-on care of the patient versus only someone that may be a little bit more impersonal with their patients. So it's uh, not to say the word everyone always uses holistic, but that's what it is, but it's very personal. Well, I actually am the medical director of a rural health clinic, and in Pennsylvania, rural health clinics are basically your uh, patient-centered medical home type clinics, and it's a team approach. So I do have a nurse practitioner. She's absolutely wonderful and I enjoy working with her, and I have a physician assistant who is absolutely outstanding, myself, and then we have two LPNs and several medical office assistants. 
the group of us, including the three providers, physician uh, and the advanced practitioners, work together to care for the patient. I rely on these ladies, they rely on me, and we coordinate the care of the patient. It's, it's more than just, you know, throwing a pill at somebody. It's, you know, really explaining what that pill does yeah. and really discussing the pros and cons with that patient and seeing if, you know, it matches with their lifestyle, if it's something they're going to adhere to, or if there's alternatives that they'd rather pursue first versus just taking a script and, you know, doing whatever the doctor says without being a part of their own, um, a part of their own care, basically.